Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part 10 of the build of the LEGO Technic Porsche 911 GT3 RS set. This is how far we've made it so far, and um, we are now on to box number 4, and also the last unnumbered box is the rims and tires. So let's see what we have in here. I like these boxes because they are full to the max of Lego elements. So there's no airspace in there. So what we have is a bag of panels and large elements, a bag of lift arms and pins and panels. And we got two medium to small size bags of various pins, axles, connectors, and bricks. So just like the other bags, we're going to go ahead and sort all of these. That way we can spend some quick time building this, so here we go. Alright, so we have all the parts sorted. There's um, a medium amount of parts in this portion of the build. You can kind of see them all back there. Um, once again, we're continuing to build the front, or I guess all the body work that's left. So we're going to start with this panel. There are varying lengths of panels in this bag. There's quite a few. It's probably about 40 or 50 panels just in this portion of the build. So we have to make sure you select the right one. They do help you out. They put numbers on the inside of them. They're molded on. So if you confused which one you're actually supposed to use, you can reference those numbers if they're easily accessible. Few of these lift arms. So I believe this is going to be the front dashboard. I was looking at it, trying to figure out what was going on, but now I think I figured it out. That panel there. Quite a few of standard Lego elements in this bag as well. This plate. Have a one by one black tile. Slotted tile. Baby bow shape. Another slotted tile. Another baby bow shape. And another one by one. So that all goes there. Now we have a couple 
brackets. Let's see, two brackets. Two by three plate. Some double wide bow shapes. some gauges on. We have sticker number 13. Because there are these round stickers are tricky to put on. here in the middle. Okay, so there's our gauge cluster. This attaches right there. Bring this guy over. Snaps perfectly in there. Move it back to the side, on to the next piece. I have an 11 long axle. Instructions show a one-to-one -one ratio of where this bushing is supposed to be. It's basically lined up right in the middle. these tiny panels. Let's go like that. Have this eight long axle. Attach one of these axle joiners to it. Slide it all the way through. Another one there.
this. Line up. Basically, our front bumper area. Now we're gonna do another little sub build. Let's see, starting with this thing. pieces pull this up so you can see what's going on um, this portion goes in here. All right. So that axle connector that we put on there a little while ago, this exposed axle basically goes in there. All right, next portion we're going to build some Lego bricks. And we have these little racks, gear racks on there. of my neatly sorted stuff. That'd bother you for your OCD. All right, so bring our front end back over. This is going to slide down into there. And we have to make sure those maintain that angle. So you get two of them kind of offset, but they're kind of at the same angle. All right, next up.
two pieces are kind of moving freely. That basically allows them to stay in spot now. Alright, next we're going to build, looks like one of the side fenders that go over the wheel. Let's see, we have a four long axle and a three long axle. This is pretty cool. We have a printed fender element. So that's not a sticker, that's an actual print. Looks pretty good. And we have a unprinted one that goes on the other side. So see how that's plain and undecorated. That one's printed. Clear plate, a one by one, by one round clear stud, clear tile. And then the clear dish. So that's our headlight. Sure, I've got everything lined up. And there goes the dish. Alright, looks like I have everything lined up. Now we're gonna put a bracket or something on there to help support it.
All right, we've got too many pins trying to line up here. Good. Pull that one out. See if I can get that one lined up. That one there. That was easier. So the way they had to had it designed for us to try to put it on there was kind of difficult. Move that to the side. Pull some more standard Lego elements. Looks like we're gonna build some sort of intake or exhaust grill. So these two blue pins with the studs, that's what's going to attach to the bottom side of those brackets. It's not a super solid connection. What we'll do is add this modified plate with the, uh, the pinhole. Then you can insert one of these two long pins with the axle on the top the axle connector on the end and that basically locks the whole thing in place so it is not going anywhere now it is stuck on there we have some clear bricks those usually represent some sort of light got a few more clear bricks along with a clear cheese slope. Clear tile. Have this panel. Put one of these things in there. Three long axle, take another three long axle, put a half bushing on there, and then this perpendicular axle connector. Goes there, and then that connects right on top of that red axle. So clears or covers those lights up pretty well. And then this exposed axle right here will go right inside of this axle joiner. It's angled. Right there. So that's creating the front, making it look all aerodynamic and stuff. This large panel number 18 to it.
All right, we have those two. Now we have these gray axles with the two long friction pin. This slides right inside of these pinholes. We have the beginnings of the door hinge that this go in there. That portion looks like it goes there. It's a four long axle that goes in the top hole like that. like that. Put another half bushing on the top to hold it in place. some more panels. around a black too long axle and get one of these guys in there the top of the door. That completes the build of the door.
Let's see here. I think we are going to stop this portion of the build here. We have one more portion left and then we'll be finished building the Lego Technic Porsche 911 GT3 RS. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.